The Family TV Mass is brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Dr. Mantanya G. Ramos General Hospital. Good morning and welcome, brothers and sisters. We are gathered here to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass that one is sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time with the theme, We Serve the Lord by the Way We Live. Today, we also observe the National Seafarers Day. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word SVD brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Salitao Hall of Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Sr. Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Alfredo Rollion SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, with Reverend Father Bel San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass as Con Celebrant. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. Let us sing our praises to God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. And welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. May our coming together be our expression, or be an expression of our unity and our love to God who always provide for our needs, God who always protect us, especially in these times of crisis and pandemic. And so we bring ourselves to the altar of the Lord with the intentions, with the prayer in our hearts, and also as we celebrate the National Seafarers Day, we pray for our fellow brothers and sisters who are out there at the sea facing dangers, facing difficulties just to provide for their families back here. We pray for their safety and the, what we have prayed in the beginning, may God also protect them at all times. So brothers and sisters, we prepare our hearts for this communion. We call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion. God the Father, you honor us by sending us to work with you in your vineyard, but we have often idled away our life like those who know nothing of your love. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. God, the incarnate Son, you have given us wonderful example of humility and obedience, but we have often preferred to do what we like rather than what you want. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God, the Holy Spirit, you constantly inspire us to do the Father's will, but we often prefer to pursue our own plans and priorities. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. 
O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. While in exile in Babylon, the Israelites complained that they were punished for their sins of their ancestors. Reacting to the self-serving complaint, the prophet Ezekiel restates, in the name of God, the principle of personal responsibility. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit inequity and dies, it is because of the inequity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins he has committed, he shall surely live he shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Jesus Christ's humble obedience to the Father's will makes him the perfect yes to the Father's invitation to work for the establishment and expansion of the kingdom. This is why he is our perfect moral example. As St. Paul declares to the faithful of Philippi and to us. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interest, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something 
to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Ghost. God constantly tests our faithfulness by inviting us to carry out His will. Many reduce their response to just nice words. In today's parable, Jesus emphasizes that what matters most is what we say with our actions. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not but afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, the first. Jesus said to them, amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. When I was starting to reflect on our readings of today, what rings into my mind and keeps on playing and playing is a very simple song with the line, Change my heart, O God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God. May I be like you. So, change my heart, O oh God. Yun po yung <laughs> unang linya na may tono. Hindi ko na itutuloy. Baka hindi pa mag-change ang inyong mga puso. When they were gathered on this particular day, Jesus once again ask a question that appears to be a challenge to his listeners, having the chief priest and the elders of the people as his audience. And he gave two attitudes, two sons of an owner of the vineyard, as we have heard, one, when asked to go to the field, to the vineyard, 
refused through his words. But then, eventually, he went to the, to the vineyard. And secondly, meron pang isang anak. There is another son who said yes, but did not go. Sino kaya ang binabanggit ng Panginoon? Or what kind of people was Jesus talking about in these two examples of the sons asked to go to the vineyard? Well, having his audience, most likely he was asking them and challenging, challenging them about their attitudes towards the plan of God and their attitudes towards the presence of Jesus and the conversion of heart that occurred along the process. And here, it must be very, very um, challenging to them. And not only that, siguro may sense of uh, insulting when Jesus mentioned that, well, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. Eh, noon lang nakakaraang lunes ay ating ipinagdiwang ang kapistahan ng isang tax collector, si Matthew. And I even made a joke. Sabi ko, wala pong offense sa mga accountant, no? At ito naman ay galing din. Opinion ito ng isa kong uncle. Meron akong uncle na isang mapagbiro na sabi niya, well, this is the principle of accounting. Sabi niya, debit, credit, at saka kupit. <laughs> and applying it to the life of the tax collectors, well, they were hated well, because of their serving a, a non-pleasing government, but at the same time, many people have that um, assumption that these people are making kupit no, out of their collection. So they were sinners and prostitutes no, because of their uh, work, of their job. But then, even these people will be welcomed in the kingdom of God because of their change of heart, because of their repentance. Maaring sila yung mga nagsabi na, ah, hindi kami maniniwala, hindi kami susunod sa Diyos. But eventually, they followed God. They followed Jesus. They have a change of heart. And here, Matthew, well, we have the gospel that um, accounted to him no? na isang tax collector and more likely when he was recalling these words of Jesus eh, he was also recalling the day when Jesus asked him to come to him and then by that Jesus was able to change his life however the other son who said no we referred or who said yes but did not go Jesus was referring to those who said, I will follow, I'm faithful to the Lord, but their actions did not prove what were coming out of their mouths. At tayo, sa atin, meron tayo mga kasabihan tungkol sa ganito. We have what we call the palabra de honor. <laughs> I remember long time ago, there was this TV commercial, a bank commercial about a, a man who is trying to pack his things on a, on a cart, even, you know, there is a storm. And then the son was so worried. But then, of course, that man, man's intention was to fulfill his promise. And that is why even there is a storm or may sigwa, he will still go because of what we call the palabra, the honor, to honor their words. And that is why, you know, in the first reading, it talks about the action that we did, no? wherein God will base 
his judgment or his reward. And in the second reading, it was mentioned there about a, a God, mentioned about Jesus. No, na, ano bang sabi doon sa second reading ay parang letter of St. Paul to the Philippines. <laughs> Philippians. <laughs> that this Jesus, you know, offered himself. That this Jesus died on the cross. Why? Because that is his ultimate obedience to the Father. Kaya nga, may mga ilang commentaries akong nabasa that there is a third son here in the gospel for today. And that son was our storyteller, who is our Lord Jesus Christ, who said yes by his words and yes by his actions. And so may our prayers be change our hearts, O God. We, kami, tayo na makasalanan, tayo na may mga pagkakataon na hindi tayo sumusunod sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. But eventually, we found our way. No? Eventually, we considered no, the words of Jesus or the Word of God in the Gospel of today through this story, through this uh, situation, that we too may change our hearts so that we will be pleasing to the eyes of God the Father and we will be welcome into the kingdom where righteousness, where justice, where love, where mercy and compassion reign. We now profess our faith by praying, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, man, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God still challenges all human beings to respond positively to his invitation to work in the vineyard of his kingdom. Aware of our inclination to reduce our response to just nice words, let us implore the help of his grace as we pray, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. <coughs> For the whole church, the community of all believers scattered throughout the world, May she lead the rest of humankind in always responding positively to God's will by doing what is just and right. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. For the Holy Father and all our spiritual leaders, may they continue to edify us with their good example in carrying out God's plan for the growth of the kingdom. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our government officials and other people in authority, may they be the first to obey the laws of the land and thereby lead us by example in promoting the common good, we pray. 
Lord, graciously hear us. For all seafarers who make so many sacrifices for their families, may they also be worthy representatives of our Christian faith wherever they are. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all of those working for the people of the sea worldwide, may they always be ready to serve and care for the seafarers. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all of us, especially our youth, may we do our ordinary duties extraordinarily well and in response to Our Lady of Fatima, pray the rosary every day for the conversion of sinners and peace in our world. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our personal intentions. And we include the intentions for this Mass, for the birthday thanksgiving, for L.A.J. Santos, for good health, success in her new business venture, and happiness for her family. Also in thanksgiving, prayer by Victoria Prado and family, Candido and Eloisa Pua and family, Marciano and Volet Damatan and family. Healing and recovery for Tez Hizola, Edeline B. Arandia, Rolando Marquez. Safety and protection for Mary Ann Gonzalez of Dubai. And some personal intentions by Ed Morales, Presi, Ricky Sulit, Lita Ilano, Rosie Suntai, Michelle Clavicilia. And for the eternal repose of Ray Anthony Cardinal, Renit Renito Prado, Gima Pua, Victorino and Imelda Pagulayan, and Rene and Angela Prado. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving Father, guide our frail steps in life that we may always please you in our actions as you are pleased with Jesus, your Son, who lives and loves forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. 
And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. <laughs> of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Ernesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people uh, gathered uh, here and also our televiewers here and abroad. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Sisters and brothers, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the obedient Son of the Father. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but yeah. only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united. Wherever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the unity of the family. God, our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures. Instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in his children such self-respect that they may respect others obey their parents and those in authority and grow in mature independence and a tender joy of friendship make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of christian life here and hereafter through christ our lord and savior amen oratio imperata god our father we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace through the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calinsod, Pray for us. St. Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renademitz. Pray for us. Please uh, be seated uh, for a while. Um, <clears throat> my dear brothers and sisters, of po si Father Bell San Luis, SVD, Executive Producer ng Family TV Mass. Uh, our Mass would not be complete if uh, I do not uh, acknowledge uh, the people who have uh, helped us. And uh, so I would like to uh, thank the Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary, Reverend Father Pablito Tagura, SVD. The Rector of the Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD. 
And of course, our uh, mass celebrant, uh, thank him for uh, his uh, presence and also for his uh, inspiring uh, homily. Uh, none other than Reverend Father Alfredo Rolion, SVD. We thank also uh, Sister Daryl Ibarra, the commentator, and the lector, Brother Nino Versosa, over here. Um, they are seminary staff and personnel. And special thanks to our sponsors, donors, and benefactors and our televiewers and online audience. Uh, thank you for following our uh, TV uh, mass and also our uh, other TV channels. Channel 6 sign signal cable, channel 41 free TV, channel 59 sky cable, Channel 33, ABS-CBN TV Plus. Channel 34, GMA for the box. Also streamed, line, streamed and uploaded in our social media accounts, MCFI SBD Media. Facebook uh, page and YouTube channel. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, Indeed, uh, harder times, and uh, our Mission Communications Foundation is also experiencing some financial depression. Dahil po dito sa closure of uh, our churches, and many of these churches are sponsoring our family TV mass, and then uh, lockdown, you know, we cannot uh, hold masses, uh, uh, as we would uh, have in the past. That's why uh, we'd like to uh, appeal to you, my dear uh, brothers and sisters, our televiewers, to please uh, help us. And you can do this uh, by uh, offering um, <clears throat> prayer offerings. Uh, so, for example, intentions like uh, for the sick, for the uh, dead, for Thanksgiving, birthday celebration, and uh, so on. Also another is a uh, sponsor, to be a sponsor of our Mass. And um, also those who can afford, maybe companies, they may uh, also make a placement of advertisement in our uh, tell her, uh, in our family TV mass. So for further inquiries on this, you can uh, send your uh, uh, love offering to uh, uh, 0917, 0915-923-6866 or contact 0961 8118766 or you may email uh, bellsvd at gmail.com or the account number 0002200516523 at uh, BDO or Banco de Oro. So uh, thank you very much in uh, advance. And, um, you know, I have appealed also in the past Sundays to help also our seminarians who uh, are now starting their uh, school year. And, um, well, again, uh, there is really uh, uh, difficulty uh, financially for their schooling, for their formation here in Christ the King Seminary. And that's why uh, I'm appealing to you, to your brothers and sisters, that uh, we uh, help them support our seminarians, especially this time. Alam po ninyo, napaka-importante mga seminarians, dahil kung wala pong mga seminarians, ay wala ding mga uh, future priests 
wala din mga missionaries, walang mga obispo, pati na rin Santo Papa. Kasi itong mga pare, mga missionaries at bishops, they do not, uh, they are not instant, but rather sila po ay nagsisimula bilang seminarista. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, we are appealing for your help for our future priests and uh, bishops, and these are our seminarians. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. By your hands, we pray for God's blessings. May your family always rejoice together, O God, over the mystery and redemption they have celebrated, and grant its members the perseverance to attain the effect that flow from them through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass attended. Let us go and share the goodness of the Lord. Family TV Mass was brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Dr. Mantanya G. Ramos General Hospital.